Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So with the rollout of Firefox version 108, Mozilla introduced Windows 11 efficiency mode support to the browser. Now that was a couple of versions ago because currently we are on sitting on version 115. And if we just head over to the task manager uh, in Windows 11 and we go to our processes, background processes, here we will see that Firefox um, some of those uh, background processes um, will be using efficiency mode. And what this does basically, efficiency mode, is it um, improves battery life and performance. So it limits resources on Firefox background tabs, as an example. And you can see here that other web browsers, like uh, Google Chrome, as an example, are also running efficiency mode, which is this little green leaf next to those background processes. So it's a setting that's built into and a feature that's built into Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, if we just manually enable a process with efficiency mode, you will see that efficiency mode says it will lower process priority and improve your power efficiency, but may cause instability for certain processes. So although this is a nice feature and a handy feature in Windows 11, to improve your battery life and performance by limiting resource usage um, on Firefox's background tabs. Um, if you feel it's not necessary, or maybe your browser is becoming unstable, as it says here in this description, or um, it's lagging or freezing, or just efficiency mode is causing problems, then just a quick video to actually show you how you can uh, permanently disable efficiency mode um, for Firefox if you are running Windows 11. Now, a very simple way, obviously, if there are, if efficiency mode has been activated for any of those background processes, would be just to right-click on the relevant process and then just uncheck efficiency mode. And you can see it, it unchecks and efficiency mode has been removed from that actual process running in the background. But this can be quite a lengthy process if you've got to do it for each of the background processes and may become a little bit tedious. So um, there is a way we, we can permanently disable efficiency mode for Firefox um, using um, um, changing the value of an experimental flag in about config. So to do this, and if you do want to permanently disable and stop efficiency mode um, running for Firefox on Windows 11, we head up to our address bar as always, and we enter about colon config. So that's about colon config. And just take note, accept the risk and continue. And what we need to do here, uh, we need to look and search for this flag. So we're just going to type that in. It's called eco QOS. And this is the flag which will appear. It's quite a mouthful, but just type in eco QOS, and I'll leave this down below, by the way, for you to just uh, copy and paste for easier reference. And we need to change the value from the default true by just flipping it around with the toggle to the right and making that false. And then what I would suggest is close a Firefox and then restart Firefox. And now you'll see with um, that flag, that value now, that flag changed from true to false. Um, if we head back to our task manager and we head over to Firefox, you will see now that all of those efficiency mode um, settings now have been disabled. So if you just want to do it in one kind of one go, without having to manually disable efficiency mode for each of those processes, you can just use that flag as mentioned. And um, as, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, efficiency mode on Windows 11 can improve your battery life and performance and by limiting those resources and um, usage on Firefox, especially if you are using a battery powered device on battery. But if you don't feel it's necessary or as mentioned, your browser is becoming a little bit laggy or freezing or efficiency mode is causing problems, you can permanently disable efficiency mode um, for Firefox on Windows 11 by following the steps in this video. And if you want to um, re-enable that, you can just uh, follow the steps once again and then you can just change that flag for, uh, from false back to true as shown in the steps in this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.